What's going on YouTube season three week one is here and I have a long video explaining every single challenge in multiplayer. I'm going to show you exactly how to do every single one in one simple game. I have chapters in the description. You guys can skip around if you want, but I wish you'd watch the video. Of course, I'm going to show you every single game mode that you should play, whether it be core, hardcore, etc. And then I'm also going to go into every single class setup that you could use if you're struggling with these challenges. So hope you enjoy it. Pay attention, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys appreciate my work. All right, enjoy. Bye bye. What's up, everyone? Another how to video by The Crow Show for you today. We're talking about how to get 35 operator crouch kills while aiming down sights with recommended LMGs. I'm going to make this video super quick because this should be very easy. First things first, you guys can play whatever game mode you want. Whatever game mode you want, up to you. I like hardcore for these challenges because it just makes it go easy. Okay, so for this, one thing that we need to keep in mind is you must be using a recommended LMG. So that's either the TAC Eradicator, Bruin MK9, or the TAC Evolver because they have the fire symbol right above their name. Okay, and then from here, you can copy my class setup if you want to use this LMG. Completely up to you. But we're just going to go there super quick. Trophy system, stalker boots, or covert, or tactical pads, whatever you guys want. Okay, all right. Uh, then we're just going to find game, search for a match. I highly recommend playing a objective-based game mode, not TDM, so it lasts longer, so you can get more aim down sights kills while crouching. All right, let's get into it. All right, everyone, we're not gonna make this too complex, okay? Simply just play a small map. I prefer hardcore. I got Dodd's house. I joined this game late, actually, and kill confirmed, but still certainly had enough time to get 35 kills while crouched and aim down sights, as I'm showing you here. Now, this game was a little bit sweaty, so I didn't get, like, these amazing clips i just got strays of kills here and there but i mean simply it's it's not too hard right just crouch aim down sights maybe play a little bit slow get behind them in their spawn flank no nothing nothing too crazy right just i don't know it, it's probably one of the easiest challenges that we'll ever have to be quite honest but hey we're not complaining right we're not complaining but i guess the main things i can say is try not to get caught sprinting you know try and play slow slide around corners and then crouch I think that will help a lot. Unfortunately, I did not get the actual clip where I actually completed the challenge. I thought I recorded it. I guess I didn't. That's my fault, but you'll have to take my word for it. Obviously, I completed one game fairly easy. So today, I'm going to show you how to complete the get 25 operator attack stance kills with recommended suppressed LMGs in Modern Warfare 3. And of course, I'm going to show you how to complete this in one simple game. In order to do this, I recommend playing a hardcore small map mosh pit. However, you can literally play whatever you want. You can play hardcore or core. That's up to you. All right. And I've also posted six other how-to videos for season three already. So make sure to check those out. Video, if you appreciate my work, please consider booping that like button and subscribing. All right. Thanks, guys. Let's get into it. All right. So for the class setup, there's two important things we have to go over. One, you must use a recommended LMG. That's denoted by the fire symbol above the name. So you can either use the TAC Eradicator, Bruin MK9, or TAC Evolver for week one. Now, week two, three, four, etc might have different recommended weapons, so you have to just choose a weapon that has the fire symbol. Next, we must equip a muzzle that has the word attachment in it. So this says Sonic Suppressor L, Monolithic Suppressor L, HM Res Mod Suppressor L. As long as it has Suppressor, then you're good. You just got to equip one of them, all right? And then here's the rest of the class setup. Copy if you want. It's mainly just focus on reducing that tax stance spread, so we're more accurate, all right? And the rest of this, deployable cover if you want to hide behind it, and then perks are up to you, all right? Let's get into some gameplay. All right, everyone, let's talk strategy. Like I said, I highly recommend you play hardcore, although it's not required. But if you do play hardcore, you will get a lot of kills that you shouldn't get. So let's let's take this clip, for example. I just map people with one bullet. I get two extra kills that I probably shouldn't get just because I'm playing hardcore, right? But if you think you can get 25 tech stance kills in core, then by all means, go for it. But if you're someone that struggles with tech stance kills, then I recommend hardcore. Also, if you don't know how to go into tax stance, that is holding your left trigger to aim in on controller and then pressing left on D-pad. I'm not sure what the equivalent is on mouse and keyboard, but you can go into your settings, go to controller or, you know, keep KBM settings and then go to gameplay, scroll down until you see behaviors and you will see tactical stance behavior and you can see what you have like key bind to it or binded to it excuse me but yeah just go around as you saw just get kills that's all it is don't make it too hard for some reason the game didn't show that i completed the challenge while i was playing but here it is i completed one game nice and easy hopefully that was helpful today we're talking about how to get 30 quickscope kills with recommended lmgs in modern warfare 3 now in order to do this 
100%. You need to be playing hardcore, 100%, especially for quick scope, one bullet kills. You must be playing hardcore, okay? So go into the hardcore quick play filter and just enable whatever game mode you want. I highly recommend small map mosh pit. That will guarantee you getting it done in one game. I made the mistake of playing six star 24 seven for my first game on. I just want to try it and I got 28 quick scope kills. But if you play small map mosh pit, you will get this done in one single game. All right. So as always, if you find this video useful, please boop that like button and maybe consider subscribing. I'm always answering your questions and help you guys down below. So please don't feel afraid to ask questions. All right, let's get into it. All right, class up time, pay attention because I know one of you is gonna make this mistake, okay? Attack Eradicator is a recommended weapon because it has the fire symbol. The DG-58 is not a recommended weapon because it doesn't have the fire symbol. So you can either use the Attack Eradicator, the Bruin MK9, or this Attack Evolver, okay? You can only use those three weapons. Here are my attachments, copy them, screenshot, pause the video, boop that like button if you find these videos useful, appreciate it. Now this class up mainly focuses on handling and mobility. We're playing hardcore. We don't care about recoil, damage range. This is LMG, it's powerful. We just want that ADS speed and that sprint to fire speed, okay? So that's one thing. Now, quick scoping, it's a little bit different. Quick scoping is simply just shooting as you're aiming in, okay? So see how I'm shooting as I'm aiming in. I'm not coming to a full ADS like this, then shooting, it's quick scoping. You're shooting as you're aiming in, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Let's get into some gameplay. All right, everyone, strategy time. Like I said, you should be playing hardcore small map mosh pit. Don't play six stars, just a little bit too big for one single game. But going back to the tips, walk around the map as much as you can. Really work on centering your line of sight when you're trying to quick scope and you need to shoot as you're aiming it and you're not gonna be perfect. You will miss like I did, no one's perfect. Quick scoping isn't easy, especially with an LMG, right, okay? Now, even if you do get caught sprinting, the class setup is very, very good because we put the increased or decreased sprinter fire attachments on. So really, really copy this class setup. It's very, very good. But regardless, I got 32 kills that game and 28 of them ended up being quick scope kills. So that's why I recommend you following what I'm showing you, but also playing small map mosh pit because you will get this done in one game just because it is so much smaller. So here's what it looks like. You know, go back to see how I'm doing it. But if you want to see one really, really good clip, I was playing on this map. Same game as I completed it. That's a quick scope. Really close range. And then I take my time with that one. There's another quick scope. I miss a little bit, right? I'm not perfect, but I do get it. I got another quick scope, another quick scope. So you guys can do it. Let me know if you guys need more help. Today we're talking about how to get 30 operator quick scope kills with recommended SMGs in Modern Warfare 3. I'm going to show you how to complete this in one simple game. You guys know the drill. Come on now. In order to do this, we're going to play hardcore quick play small map mosh pit because we must play hardcore to complete this. That's like not even negotiable. You have to play hardcore simply because in order to one shot enemies to get the quick scope kills, you need a one shot, right? You need a one shot. So we need to play hardcore. Definitely filter for hardcore. You can play whatever game mode you want. That's up to you. But if you guys appreciate my work, please consider booping that like button, of course. And if you need help with the LMG quick scope, I have a video on my channel for you after this one. So check that out after. All right, everyone. So for the class setup, pay attention because one of you is going to mistake this, okay? So you must use a recommended weapon that's just denoted by the fire symbol right above the gun name. So you can use the Ram 9, the AMR 9. You cannot use the Rival 9. You can use the HRM 9 because they have the fire symbol, okay? So whatever week you are watching this in, make sure you're using a weapon that has the fire symbol. All right, now for the, you know, for the attachments, you can copy my attachments. This is all for handling, mobility, sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, and then a little bit of damage range right here. Now, you can't see it, but I do have a comb right here. This is the recon comb. So this helps with sprint to fire and ADS speed. Of course, you can't see that. My camera's blocking it, but copy the attachments. Really, really just focus on sprint to fire, ADS speed, so you can quick scope and shoot right away. All right, now here's the rest of the class setup. All right, nothing to explain. Let's get into it. All right, everyone, strategy time. Now, listen closely as you watch the gameplay. In order to get quick scope kills, you must shoot as you're aiming down sights, not when you're fully aimed down sights. Okay, I'll repeat that. You need to get kills and shoot as you're aiming down sights, not as you're fully aimed in. So it's kind of like you're like clicking your, your aim button, then shooting right away. That's a quick scope, okay? Now, obviously, you're not going to be perfect. You're going to miss shots. I miss shots, right? But because you're on shipment, you're playing small maps, whatever it may be, it could be Rust, could be Dawes House, you know, you get the idea. 
As long as you're playing a small map, you'll get more engagements. You'll have more chances for quick scope kills. You guys will get this done in one simple game. Here's the last clip. Just get like a double kill. I miss some shots. I die. I complete the challenge. Today, Crow Show is going to show you how to get 30 headshot kills with the recommended LMGs in Modern Warfare 3. Actually, I'm going to show you how to complete this in one game, possibly, depending on your skill. But for all of you, this is going to be a really good guide. So pay attention. First things first, we are going to play hardcore. Yes, hardcore, 100%. 100% hundo P. Small map mosh pit. Cue it up. Trust me, this will help you a lot. And of course, if this video does help you, please consider dropping a like and subscribing on our way to 7K. I appreciate you guys so much. Let's get into it. All right, YouTube, pay attention, all right? Because I know one of you out there is going to make this mistake, okay? So first off, you must, must use a recommended LMG denoted by the fire recommended symbol right above the gun name. So you can use the TAC Eradicator, Bruin MK9, or the TAC Evolver. One of those three, if you're watching this a week, two, three, or four, etc., the recommended weapon might be different. As long as it has the fire symbol, that's what matters, okay? Now the class setup, completely up to you. I'm just doing this for recoil, aim down sight speed, etc. Copy my class up. But the one thing I highly recommend is choose a, you know, a reflector, an optic, something that has good amount of space for you to actually see the head, okay? So whatever the one you want to use, jack glassless, slate, I don't care what you use. As long as you can see the enemy and get headshots, that's what's most important, okay? Rest of the class, I just recommend deployable cover if you want to play that way. And of course, everyone knows I love my tactical pads and hardcore. So up to you guys. Copy that class setup and let's get into it. All right. I'm going to throw a lot of information at you. So pay attention. Listen up. So first of all, you should be searching hardcore until you get an objective based game mode on shipment. OK, now, additionally, you should be using these corners like these boxes, deployable covers aiming down towards their spawn where they're just like continuously spawning so you can get your headshots just like I'm doing. However, your reticle of your red dot sight, your optic, should be at the head. Watch how my clips, my reticle is just going left to right because I'm placing my reticle at head level to start already. That is so, so huge. You should have your crosshair reticle already at head level and then just go left to right, which is what I'm trying to do. Now, are you going to be perfect? Of course not. You're going to miss. You're going to miss opportunities. But the more you put your reticle at their head level and just go left to right, you'll get a lot more shots. Like as you see here, just aim at the head, aim at the head, do the best you can. Some advice I can give is to make sure to not sprint around corners, okay? Try and slide or walk. Do not sprint because as you'll see in just a little bit, you know, I go towards the middle. Again, uh, we're going to the head, but watch. I try and sprint around the corner. I get caught by Snoop Dogg and it is what it is. I died. This is the last clip. Notice how I'm aiming at the head. I flubbed that one though. I wasn't putting my reticle high enough, but I still completed the challenge in one game. It's not easy. It might take you two games, but I promise you if you aim at head level and then just go left to right, camp corners, camp boxes, camp deployable covers, you guys will get this done. Okay, let me know down below how it goes and check out the other season three videos and make sure to like and subscribe. Today, we are talking about how to get four operator kills with one magazine three times with a recommended LMG. And of course, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in one simple game. You guys know the drill. We're going to be playing hardcore. Now, technically, you could play core, but because it's one magazine and you have to get four kills, I highly recommend hardcore. It will make it easier. We're going to be playing small map mosh pit in order to do that. I've already posted three other videos for week three, so if you need help on those, please check out my channel after this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Thanks, guys. All right, the class up, everyone, doesn't have to be too specific, okay? But the one thing you have to remember is you must be using a recommended LMG. So that means the weapons with the fire symbol above the name. So TAC Eradicator, Bruin MK9, or the TAC Evolver. Those three work. You cannot use the 762 or the LSW because they're not recommended and don't have a fire symbol for this specific week. Other than that, it's hardcore. So it doesn't really matter what you put on. Here's my attachments. If you want to copy it, up to you. Mainly focus on handling. Yes, I'm reducing the magazine size to 45 not a big deal for the four kills because it's hardcore but other than that focuses on handling mobility recoil damage etc so copy the class setup other than that deployable cover if you want to hide behind that that's up to you that's your play style i love tactical bats and hardcore you'll see me use it in the clips but that that's about it so copy this class up if you want and let's get into it all right everyone let's talk strategy i really want you to look at these clips closely i highly recommend actually playing Dawes house if you are struggling with the other maps because Dawes house is perfect for getting these really clumped up spawns 
on both teams. And you can really take advantage of that. I mean, watch how many clips I get. Not this one specifically, but watch how many clips I get where they spawn on top of each other a lot. And this is great because you should be playing objective-based game modes, so this happens more often. I mean, just look at this. Granted, this guy kind of poops on me right here, but they're all just spawning together. And if you play aggressive, you can really, really take advantage of those spawns. So this one right here, I get a kill. I know he's coming from the other side. My teammate's laying down here. I'm like, okay, they have to be spawning here. I whiff some shots. It's okay. I get a kill there. And like, they're just all there, right? They're just all there. I mean, look at this. And they just spawn there. I just got like seven or eight kills. I don't even know how many it was. But again, the hard points on that side, I know that they're spawning there. And I'm really just taking advantage of that the best I can. I look at that spawn point and there's another five kills. And this is the last one. So I'm fishing, trying to find where they're spawning. Two of them are there. I'm like, okay, so they have to keep spawning there. And then you just like play patient, pre-aim everything, aim down sights, kind of camp a little bit. You'll complete the challenge, right? Really, really take advantage of those spawns, especially on Dud's house, okay? I've posted so many other week three videos already. So please like the video, subscribe, and check those out. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to get eight reloads with a recommended LMG while taking damage. And of course, I'm going to show you how to do this. In one simple game, you guys know the drill for this. We will be playing core. I highly recommend playing small map mosh pit as I'm doing here. Essentially, you need to take damage and then reload. So, and you could technically play whatever core game mode you want, but just keep that in mind. Also, please consider subscribing and liking the video if you find this useful. All right, let's get into it. All right, everyone, pay attention. Super, super important. Of course, class up. You need to use a recommended LMG as the challenge states. Now, one of you always forgets this, so hopefully that's not you this time. So you can either use the TAC Evolver, Bruin MK9, or the TAC Eradicator because they have the fire symbol right above their name. You can't use the 762. You can't use the DG58, etc., because they don't have the fire symbol. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Now, the attachments literally don't matter at all. However, the one attachment that does matter is the magazine. If you choose a smaller magazine, as you can see, you get increased reload quickness. Now, this is the only attachment that gives you increased reload quickness. So hence, that's the only one that really matters for this challenge. You can do whatever you want. Okay. So also put on the gunner vest because that gives you improved reload speed. So that's very good. That also gives you another primary to use kind of like overkill. I recommend the riot shield. So if someone's shooting you, you can turn around and reload and they can't kill you, right? And then deployable cover if you want to hide behind that. Commando gloves are great because you can reload while sprinting. So if you're trying to sprint away, sprint away and reload, that's great. And then you can put on whatever you want for the gear. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. Let's see some gameplay. All right, lucky for you guys, this challenge is actually quite easy, okay? We really need to focus on actually shooting some bullets first so we have room in our magazine to reload and then bait people into shooting us and then reload and walk away. So really pay attention to what I'm doing here. Essentially, I'm always trying to have part of my mag emptied such that I can reload it whenever I can. So I essentially try and bait some shots, reload, because I'm assuming I'm going to get shot just like that, okay? And just like keep, keep playing, keep playing. Here, the right shield probably saves me. LMG has a very fast reload because the attachment I put on it. But essentially, dump some ammo, bait them to shoot you, and then walk away right when you think you're about to get shot. So you take a little bit of damage and you get that reload off. So watch this, shoot a couple bullets and then reload because I'm assuming he's going to hit some shots on me. All right, let's watch the next one. So same thing here. I, I'm just expecting to get shot. I empty my mag and I reload. And then this is the last one. I'm expecting someone to come through. I reload and boom, you're done. You're done. So if you guys need more help with Modern Warfare 3 challenges, I'll put them on screen and the playlist as well. So please check that out. Make sure to like and subscribe for the video. All right. Bye-bye.